Well, happy September 8th. I hope you're having a, a very good day today. Grab your Bibles if you would. I've got my coffee out, and I hope that you've got your coffee out. And today we're looking at Galatians chapter 2, verses 6 through 10. Okay, so let's look there, Galatians chapter 2, verses 6 through 10. Let's look at what Paul writes. And from those who seem to be influential, what they were makes no difference to me. God shows no partiality. Those, I say, who seemed influential added nothing to me. On the contrary, when they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been entrusted with the gospel to the circumcised, for he who worked through Peter for his apostolic ministry to the circumcised worked also through me for mine to the Gentiles. And when James and Cephas and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given to me, they gave the right hand of fellowship to Barnabas and me, that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. Only they asked us to remember the poor, the very thing I was eager to do. You know, Paul emphasizes here that the influential leaders in Jerusalem added nothing, I mean added nothing to his message, affirming that his gospel was complete and it was divinely revealed. Now, this acknowledgement by the pillars of the church, we're talking about James, we're talking about Cephas or Peter, and John demonstrates their recognition of Paul's ministry to the Gentiles. And they acknowledged the grace given to Paul and extended their fellowship, signifying unity and a, a mutual respect within the early church. Now, the distinction between Paul's mission to the Gentiles and, and Peter's mission to the Jews underscores really the diversity that was within the early Christian mission. You see, despite different audiences, the same God, let me, let me say it one more time, despite different audiences, the same God was at work in both ministries, indicating that the gospel really is for all, you know, and this unity and this diversity really is a powerful testament to the gospel's reach and the Holy Spirit's work in various contexts. Now, the leader's request for Paul to remember the poor, now that really does align with the consistent biblical mandate to care for those who are in need. And, and Paul's eagerness to do so reflects his commitment to this, this whole approach to ministry, you know, proclaiming the gospel and addressing the needs of people. This concern for the poor is integral to the gospel message because it demonstrates love in action and reflecting God's heart for compassion. Remember that we're told to, to give a cup of cold water in Christ's name. It's not either or, it's both and. And so as you reflect on this passage today, consider the unity and the diversity within the body of Christ. Embrace the different ways God uses each of us in his mission to seek and to support and to affirm one another's ministry. I'm grateful for the various ministries that we have in our community today. There are all kinds of ministries that are out there, and, and they have different approaches. Some deal with food and ministry. Some deal with physical health. Some deal with the spiritual health. I'm grateful for all of them, and we work together to advance the gospel. So today, remember the importance of caring for those around you, caring for those in need, and let your faith be expressed through love, and compassion for other people. So listen, have a great day.